What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haji Salad and in this video, I'll basically be talking about how to stop overthinking. Um, so I'm really starting to like these little sit downs where I just come and talk to you guys one on one, some personal development stuff. So I've really been enjoying these. And if you guys are enjoying these, please like the video. And also, if you guys have like any comments on how to help other people uh, to stop overthinking on some of the topics that I'm talking about, you guys let me know. Drop some helpful tips in the comment section. And also, if there's any other topics that you guys would like to talk about in uh, in these videos, let me know, and I can make some videos on that. But a lot of the time, when I talk about some of these things, these are things that I go through every day in my life. And these are some of the things that help me. So I'm not a professional when it comes down to talking about mental health, um, especially men's mental health. I'm not a professional in this. So I'm just using things that work for me. And hopefully these things work for you. I do have my handy dandy notebook right here where I note, I wrote things down to kind of help me out. So if you guys see uh, that I'm looking down, I'm looking at my notes right here. Okay. So the first one, uh, the first step to, you know, help you to stop overthinking I would say just write everything down, you know, take a seat, sit down and just write every single thought that comes to your mind. You know, overthinking is just it's a it's, it's natural. You know, as humans, we have brains. And sometimes, you know, especially when we have to make tough decisions or sometimes when we're going through a lot, you know, our brains tend to stop. You know, our brains tend to keep running and keep thinking and just trying to figure out ways to uh, solve things. And so just sitting down. And, you know, writing down what your brain is thinking kind of helps you to see what's going on through your mind. You know, sometimes it's constant. You know, our brain never stops working. Even when we're sleeping, guys, our brain continuously works. And sometimes some of the things that we even are dealing with in our daily lives even come and creep into our dreams and into our sleep. You know, it's kind of crazy. So just sitting down, maybe you take like three to four minutes, five minutes just write down every single thought that comes to your mind. You don't necessarily have to do anything. Just write down whatever's coming to your mind. Look at what's in your brain. And that is just a way to just release everything that's going on in your brain and see it in words. I think that would be the first helpful tip that I would give you guys. Um, so the second thing that I would say is just sit down, close your eyes, and just start breathing. Every time you start to feel yourself overthinking and you know a lot of things are going through your brain, just sit down, close your eyes, and just focus on your breath, focus on your breathing. You know, when I used to have a lot of anxiety and I used to go through a lot and I used to have like, you know, my moments and I used to have, and I used to end up having panic attacks. The first thing that, the first signs of those panic attacks or those anxiety things was I started to think a lot. I started overthinking and I was in my own head. So just sitting down, you know, if you're standing up or if you're walking around, don't do that. Just sit down, you know, close your eyes. And just focus on your breath, you know, focus on your breath. Try not to think, you know, that's hard. Just focus on your breath and just focus on breathing. Don't focus on your thoughts, what you're thinking tomorrow, whatever. No, just focus on your breathing and just, you know, in and out. Just focus on your breathing. And I guarantee you guys, if you guys just practice this, practice this every single day when you start to think or when you start to overthink, just sit down, close your eyes, stop whatever you're doing and just breathe and do this for at least five minutes. Five minutes. Do this every time you start to overthink and you guys, you'll start to see a slight difference. And as long as you implement this into your life every day and you start to do this, I guarantee you'll start helping because this is what, what kind of helped me when I used to have a lot of anxiety and I used to have like panic attacks. Just sitting down and focusing on my breath helped me a lot. So I hope that helps you guys out. Um, the second one, and I think a lot of people try not to do this, especially when they're going through a lot of things and you know, they're sad or depressed. You guys talk to someone. Talk to someone. And when I say talk to someone, talk to someone that you trust, you know, a family member, a close friend, somebody you've known that's not going to go out and tell your business to everyone. You know, tell this person, even communicate with them. Hey, I need someone to talk to. I'm going through a lot. You know, I just need to talk to someone because sometimes we tend to, you know, separate ourselves. And the more alone you are, the more you start to overthink even more. So find someone that you can trust, you know, sit down with them and just tell them about what's going on in your mind. And you don't have to tell them like the super private things that, you know, is going through your brain, but just tell them like the basic stuff that's going through your mind. You know, I feel like if you're going through a lot, do not separate yourself because then that, that, that makes your thoughts even go even crazier. So just sit down, sit down with someone, try to talk about what you're going through. They don't have to solve your problem. I'm not saying go to someone 
to try to solve your problem. Go to someone just so you can talk and vent to that person so you have somebody that hears you because when you're talking in your own brain, it can be a lot and it can be really, really overwhelming. And sometimes you make bad choices, but when you have somebody that you can just talk to and just somebody that can just hear you, because I just feel like those inside voices need to be heard. So just sit down with someone, just talk to them, tell them how you're feeling. And I guarantee you guys, that's going to help just a little bit and just continue to do that. It's going to be hard at first, you know, talking to someone, trying to tell them everything you're going through. But if you go to somebody that you trust, somebody you care about, trust me, guys, they'll always want to sit down and talk to you. You have people that love you out there. So take advantage of that. Sit down and just talk to someone. Okay, so this is the last one. Um, I would just say try to focus on the now. This is very hard. This is a very hard one. And when I used to go see my counselor or my therapist when I was having a lot of anxiety, he would tell me this, focus on the now. And when I mean focus on the now, like when you start to overthink or when you start to feel like everything's overwhelming, just focus on the now. Like what he would tell me is focus on an object. So let's say right now I'm you know, I'm out of focus. I'm sitting in my window. I'll look at my window. You know, I'll look at the color of my window. I'll look at what's next to my window. I'll look at what's outside the window. And I would even say these things like my window is, you know, white. What's outside my window is a, is a brown house. Just say those things. Focus on it now. I would say maybe even try to touch your hands, you know, like touch your knees, you know, just just focus on your environment. Focus on where you are right now, because when you start to overthink and you start to get overwhelmed, you start to get in your brain and sometimes you even lose focus of where you're at. And that can be very, very tough. And those sort of things lead to like anxiety and panic attacks, which I used to have. So just try to focus on the now. If you see an object, you know, look at an object, try to look at the color of the object, try to say what the object is. I know it's very, very silly when I say these things, but guys, trust me, it's, it's, it's helped me a little bit and I think it can truly, truly help you guys. So it's really, really hard when you're already thinking, but just focus on the now. So I hope these tips help you guys and i hope you know whatever you're going through whatever you guys are overthinking about i hope you guys get through it you know life is very very hard guys just remember that you have people that love you people that care about you um and just remember that whatever you're going through it's not gonna last forever it's not gonna last forever the one thing i say you know when i'm going through a lot of things remember that time heals time heals you know things things are gonna get better over time. You know, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen the next day. It's going to happen over time and time is going to heal, but you need to take the proper things in order to heal yourself one step at a time, one day at a time. And eventually, you know, you'll start to feel better. So I hope you guys um, enjoy this video. If these are some, if these, if these tips help you guys out, please leave a like, please leave a comment. If there's other things that you guys think would help somebody to stop overthinking, uh, drop a comment to help you guys to help somebody out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys all have a great day. Peace.